How did the co-branding partnership with Shiner come about? It's a great story, I'll tell it really quickly. So we started off knowing that we wanted to give away beer because we thought it was important. And so we figured we would just give away Lone Star because most importantly, it was not expensive. Um, and it was popular. And um, you know, we could go down to the supermarket, which locally is H-E-B, and buy a bunch of cases and it wouldn't be that impact, wouldn't be from a cost perspective that impactful. Um, we were doing it for so long, we realized that you know um, this might be something that Lone Star might be willing to um, you know, help out, help us out, and maybe we're reaching a democratic, uh, a demographic that they're looking for. Um, and so, literally, uh, Michael, my business partner, sent an email to literally like info at Lone Star Paps because it's owned by Paps. dot com, and said, "We're a small barber shop in Austin, Texas. We buy your beer and give it away. People love it. People love what we're doing. And it would be awesome if we could have some sort of help or sponsorship, and then we could really tie together." And so. From that email, Lone Star emailed us back and was like, "Well, some we have a rep in from Chicago, and they'd like to come talk to you." And and so and that's how that started. So we were with we were with Lone Star for a while, and we, that's where we learned to do all these interesting things. Where if we did take an ad, like in a in a in a movie guy, we, we used to we advertise in the Alamo Draft House. You know, they would hold a beer, and so maybe we would split the ad if they were holding a Lone Star beer. So it's you know we would you know so you could do all sorts of interesting stuff when you have a when you have a someone who's helping you with sponsorship side. Paps got bought out, or it was owned by a trust, and then someone ended up buying it, and we got lost in the shuffle, and so we were no longer able to get beer, and we were without beer for a few months, um, and so we started buying our own. And in the meantime, you know, Shiner is very Texas, very local. Well, it's based in Shiner, Texas, and um, we reached out to some to uh, actually uh, uh, um, Liz Lambert, who owns a, a really awesome hotel along the block. She owns great hotels. And asked for, and they just had a party sponsored by Shiner. We asked for the contact, and so we just emailed the contact, and it was the same kind of thing. Hey, we lost our Lone Star um, sponsorship. Here's what our demographic looks like. Here's how much. Here's how much haircuts we do. Here are the kind of parties we throw. Here's the sponsoring stuff that we do. Um, wouldn't it be awesome if Shiner Bach was the official beer for its barbershop? And they loved the idea, and and, and it was a, a two-week process, and they and they signed on, and we've been with them for almost two years now. It's been a great, great partnership, and they're really great. And uh, yeah, and we and our job is to work really hard to represent them well and get them in the hands of the people that they want and uh, and to do right by them. And um, and in return, you know, we get an awesome sponsorship and we get to serve an awesome beer. So it's really great.